Are you tired of walking around nearly naked, desperately trying to cover up your lard and your nipples? The only thing hairier than the cat is my nipples. This is embarrassing. Only if there was something I could cover my body with. Perhaps a t-shirt from catwarehouse.com? <laughs> I drew it myself, and then I paid an actual artist to draw it better. No more video games! I'm a gamer boy, mom! Let me play all day! Okay, Cartman. And a shirt that hasn't been printed yet because we didn't have enough time. Forklift certified. And back for a limited time due to popular demand, we got evicted. I don't know how long this will be in the store or how many of them we're going to print. So buy it now before you can never buy it again and you're going to have to illegally print it yourself. That's exactly what I would do. Cat warehouse shirts fit men, women, and everyone in between. And everyone in between. More pause and louder, more aggressive. Men. Women oh and God. everyone. Women! I drew all of these pictures myself, so if you want to support the William Osmond channel, please consider buying a t-shirt at catwarehouse.com. And hold up, I did something really special. I made the website developer make a coupon. If you click the cat 1,000 times, he will present you with a coupon. You know about the Air Force, and you know who George W. Bush is. But have you ever heard about the danger tornado known as Air Force George W. Bush? Three million missions flown and a body count that stacks to the moon and back twice. Air Force George W. Bush was so dangerous they wrote nine paragraphs about it. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine paragraphs about how dangerous George W. Bush would be if he flew jets. That's how dangerous today's life hacks are. They're so stupid, it makes me mad, and I know everybody likes to see me get mad at the life hacks, but my doctor said I have to watch my heart rate. We also have today Cameraman Morgan. 22 crazy life hacks that are too hilarious. This is a 16 minute video. I love the intros. Like, they're so well made too. This is like TV show level introductions and art and motion graphics, but then diarrhea level life hacks. Is she drinking Bailey's? Tortilla and you make a, a sandwich and then you hide your alcohol in the in the tortilla sandwich. I could use a lettuce tortilla with booze inside of it right now. The first hack is a lady with hairy armpits, but they're clearly fake hairy armpits. Uh, she's clearly embarrassed, but don't worry. Five minute crafts has a solution to save you from hairy armpits. And you bet it involves chemicals from your kitchen. Every time they start pulling out like the baking soda, lemon juice, they're going to provide some like mysterious magical solution to a problem that nobody actually understands, like the chemistry or whatever that's going on. The more convoluted the ingredients are and the less people understand about what you're doing, the more likely they are to believe that this could actually work. And I have a feeling that we're going to use this magical concoction to make that Chewbacca level armpit hair. Look, it's already better than it was earlier in the life hack. Um, that's so gross. And then you wait for an unknown, ambiguous amount of time. Is it two days? Is it three days? Is it four days? Is it instant because she actually just shaved her armpit and then put it back on and wiped it off? Probably. I'm not a scientist. She wipes it off and look at that. It's a freshly shaved armpit. It's clearly been shaved. So look, she even missed some hair. It's like you can actually see the shaved hair particles. <laughs> Does that look like a shaved armpit or like a, a nared armpit? Also, is that hair that she missed, or is that like chunks of hair that fell out of the razor? Okay, all right. If, uh, if prison tea didn't kill me, I can't imagine that hair removal paste will kill I don't even need to understand the ingredients anymore. I've given up on that. Baking soda, check. Is that too much? I don't know. There's no instructions other than just do it. How much lemon? Sort of eyeball it, right? Because, you know, chemistry. You don't need to actually measure things. You just throw in there. Oh, look at that. It's all foamy. That's cool. It's like a little crappy volcano. The one ingredient we are missing is coconut oil, but I do have lard. Why do I have this? It's a long story, but the good news is, is we have this, uh, so we don't need to kill coconuts. Like that? That looks good. Yeah. yeah. I'm kind of embarrassed to take my shirt off though, because I have gotten a little bit fat. I have not been using the scale, unfortunately. Uh, um, unfortunately, yep, that's the whole, that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> right. Do the doctor on speed dial. Oh! Oh! Like cold poop. <laughs> like a dog, you have to use a doggy bag to pick up 
<laughs> Dog turd. <laughs> now what? You wait. So how's it going, everybody? Yeah, you know, coronavirus, quarantine. I stole a, a new 3D printer, you wanna see it? I stole it from Brill. It's kind of a piece of crap. Oh yeah, you like the garage? I'll give you the tour. Uh, over here, there's uh, the, uh, a, a one printer. We have this printer here, and then we have the legendary Prusa 3D printer. It just works. This is where the Shea Poco lives, on the ground. There's uh, Peter Sreeple, an airplane that he made, and then he just left it. Um, bicycle, that's not mine. There's a lot of booze that it, that is mine. <laughs> this is my bicycle, caretaker's bicycle. And what did you do to it? I broke it. That's the whole tour. What you to leave that on for? I don't know. Hello, floor gang. It's been about two hours. I've just been sitting here with this like cheesy. This is disgusting. It's exactly the same. I have all the hair that I started with, and it didn't burn my skin. That's the good news. Literally, not one bit did that work. It worked at zero percent. Life hacks are so good. They're almost becoming meta at this point. It's like a very exciting transition from people actually doing hacks because there, I think, early on were some pretty good hack channels, and there were some, you know, kind of like prank life hack channels, which. If you're dumber than a doorknob, you should have been able to see through. It really takes the dullest marble in the shed. If you do put your phone in the microwave thinking you're gonna charge it, you're an idiot. Today's life hack channels have sort of done this weird transition where they started off kind of with that serious undertone, but now what you're seeing is this like self-awareness, which truly scares me because they don't care anymore. They never really cared, but now they really don't care. This one is 21 genius life hacks. Why are you calling 21 genius? Literally every single life hack is genius. Stop underselling yourself. Oh my God, I'm so excited. All right, so you're going to need a soda bottle cap for this one. I don't actually know what this is yet. You're gonna, we're gonna figure this out together. A soda bottle cap and a pencil. You're gonna draw two lines and then you're gonna cut holes. You could have just, you don't even need to mark those lines. You could have just cut it because you eyeballed it anyways. Cut the cap with the razor. Okay, this looks dangerous. And you're gonna shove the razor blade through the cap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you're gonna snip the razor blade off again. <laughs> You can grab the blade like this and you can bend it and it snaps right at that score mark and now you have a very sharp tip again. When this guy did it, it just completely destroyed two blades. So you snap the blade off, cut a bottle. Is he gonna like slice a plastic into like twine or something? His hand is covered in bandages. His hand is like covered in blood. His hand is literally covered in blood. And then his other hand, his right hand has electrical tape on the thumb. Is this a joke? What does this even do? If you have too much blood, you too can make this invention uh, and, and have less blood. Like I've seen people try to make a rope with those. I don't think I've ever seen someone who made one that could peel off a little piece and then they gave you the thumbs up. I'm not even gonna do this. William here with today's life hack. Now you've got a little piece of garbage. It's smaller than the other piece of garbage. I have simply shrunk your trash down. I think we're gonna come to a couple that really state like the, the mental deterioration of the people who make these life hacks. I'm pretty sure there's some super depressing office in Eastern Europe, maybe Czechoslovakia, but they've run out of ideas. And like, I, I, you cannot fault them because at some point you just cannot come up with more ideas. In real life, you have things you need to accomplish and you have methodologies of accomplishing them. Life hacks are sort of trying to present all of your life's problems as shortcuts. Here's a shortcut for every single problem in your life. You literally cannot come up with this many shortcuts because then you're doing things wrong at that point. They have the model get her hands dirty? Oh no! Take your useless paper away! I have my own cleaning belt! <laughs> what? Paper. What is happening? I'm not sure we've done any of these weird acting ones. What? 13 stupid life hacks that we deserve. First of all, what is that title? It's garbage. And I have a feeling this video is also going to be garbage. You drop your phone into a toilet? into a toilet and there's a fat nookie in there and now my phone is covered in human feces. This reminds me of like Ego Raptor. Oh hey Pikachu, I choose you! Pikachu, you Thunderbolt! Oh no! Pikachu, would you add your plastic ring to the center of the bowl? How dare you come into the ladies room? Okay, 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 
Okay, that's like, okay. Are you scared of pointing a gun at your head and pulling the trigger and, and accidentally blowing your brains out? Here's a life hack, don't put bullets in the gun. Do you see? Does that analogy work? Don't drop your phone in the toilet. Don't hold it over the toilet. Avoid using your phone near the toilet. Don't go on your phone when you're on the toilet. It's not a good use of time. It like causes you to sit on the toilet longer. Sitting on the toilet longer can give you hemorrhoids. Mayo Clinic. Hemorrhoids, also called piles, are swollen veins in your anus. Nearly three out of four adults will have hemorrhoids. Three of us here, there's a, there's a pretty high likelihood that someone here has hemorrhoids. Rectal bleeding, painless bleeding. Hemorrhoids can develop from increased pressure in the lower rectum due to straining during bowel movement, sitting for long periods of time on the toilet, having chronic diarrhea or constipation, being obese, pregnant, eating a low fiber diet, regularly heavy lifting, having, I'm not reading that one. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're strong, fat, don't eat fiber, <laughs> lots of diarrhea and sit on your phone on the toilet, that is a recipe for hemorrhoids. Look at mayoclinic.org, it's a .org, that means it's a serious website that you should take everything as literally as possible. Dot com, you have to be more careful, and dot gov, you absolutely want to run away from. If you don't want hemorrhoids, don't sit on the toilet too long, don't be on your phone. It has a poop hole, I just realized the hole is for pooping. <laughs> You pee through the mesh and you poop through the hole. We're gonna use window screen and then we need a piece of pipe right now. I really wanted to 3D print a piece of pipe. It just felt like the ultimate F you. I'm pretty sure you're not gonna find a human with turds bigger than that. Caretech, I have a question for you. Do you think one of your poops would fit through this? I'm sorry. Or should I just what do it there? What are you doing? We're gonna build a machine to keep your phone out of the toilet. But you shouldn't sit on the toilet anyways, because if you sit on the toilet too long, you'll get hemorrhoids. You're not destroying your toilet. Dun, 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 dun. I wonder why we get kicked out of all these places. Step one, pull out your mesh. I was thinking of cutting it in half, and I'm like, well, what if we do need to replace a screen one day? Step one, take your net mesh. Step two, stick it over toilet. Step two, cut out net. Step three, cut a hole for the poop chute. Well, oh, where does your butt hole normally sit? I wanna say like there. Yeah, boy. Step four, hot glue your screen door mesh to the toilet. Probably should have cleaned this before getting my hands all over it. We did that last time with the tungsten cube too. We sort of just were all handsy with the toilet that we found on the side of the road. It looked clean, but uh, pretty sure it was covered in dookie. It looks like a completely normal toilet from the top, but when you slap that bad boy open, you're about to poop 10 times more efficiently than you normally poop. You don't need no squatty potty, no coconut oil, no laxatives. Now we pooping. Perfect. Step five, take a fat dump. I want to say a fat P, but that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. May your future be bright and your streams be thick. Are you tired of using the toilet and being on your phone and then dropping your phone in the toilet? It's never happened to me. How do you drop it in the... Because a boy has a stand to pee. Can you just say yes? Are you tired of dropping your phone in the toilet while you go to the bathroom? Yeah. We have a new invention for you. It is called toilet screen poop hole. <laughs> if you drop it, it just bounces right off. Want to do the honors? No, he did it too hard. You're sitting down and your legs are spread. It would go right through your legs. Ah! If you can't pee a half gallon in under 30 seconds, you, got, you better see a doctor. You're just drinking a bunch of water in a real thick, healthy stream. Hey, look at that. It only splashed a little bit on the sides. How do we test the poop? The poop? I know what's it. I'm out. My pants are off. So don't open the door. Oh, everything's touching the screen and I don't like it. What's the point? I don't understand. The hole is clearly for pooping, but the hole's too small for both. I mean, maybe me, I can sort of like aim a little bit better. Chelsea, can you, I need your input. Ugh, I don't like it because it's touching my butt. It's wet. Win or fail? Fail. Maybe I missed something. We did, I did that, and they hot glued it on. Why is there a man in the bathroom? Oh, they don't like the life hack either. That's a character. Wait, did they just do a life hack commentary in a life hack video? Are you surprised? They literally made fun of the life hack in the video as their excuse to do the life hack.
Did they actually poop through the hole? Did you actually take a poop through the hole? So I don't know if they'll ever get back to us. Next life hack is from the same video. Um, Nope. You can't just do the same thing over and over again. And I'm pretty sure that in the past they've already abused the loophole of being able to repurpose your old snippets and clips into the same videos. And at some point it starts to get stale, the views start to go down because everyone realizes the life hack videos are a joke and it's just like fodder for commentary channels to come in and be like, haha, look, the stupid thing is stupid. We're all idiots, you know that, right? We've beaten these life hack people down to the point where they're literally making fun of themselves, like to deter me from making fun of them, and it clearly hasn't worked. <laughs> if they can beat you to the punch, they think that I'm not gonna flame them. But the reality is I'm gonna flame them for something completely different, and that is trying to beat me to the punch. Because now I'm just gonna bully you. You're being bullied by a channel that has a tenth of your subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> you have 20 million people subscribed to this crap. I mean, taking a shower with your clothes on? Everyone, it's working. I can feel the cleanliness. This is humiliating. I, I have a feeling there's a, an audience that's gonna enjoy this more than they should. <laughs> feet, feet apparently do it for people. That's, that's why I'm wearing socks in the shower. <laughs> Make sure to clean your butt. The hack is complete, and now I have to figure out how do I solve the problem that I've made for myself. You! <laughs> so the real life hack is don't do life hacks. Damn, boy. That's a thick ass boy, <laughs> boy. Thick boy. Is that a thick boy? I have cankles. Why has no one told me? I should have filmed a better outro, but I didn't. Anyways, check out catwarehouse.com where we have I'm in debt, no more video games, forklift certified, we got evicted, and bread cat pin. Ah!